You hundreds stop by the Soul Tribe Tattoo and Piercing Shop off First and Broadway throughout the day to pay their respects to Alyssa Gunn Maldonado and Alicia Cardenas. Alicia's father tells us she owned the tattoo shop and was a pillar in the tattoo community. Like no one you've ever met. Uh, very gregarious, very friendly. It's, it's the world we live in, it's just horrible. We continue our team coverage tonight. Denver 7 Sloan Dickey live at that growing memorial. Sloan. Yeah, and that memorial continues to grow even into the evening. People are actually still gathering here tonight out of outside of Soul Tribe Tattoo and Piercing. The friends of those two victims. Now it's quiet right now, but earlier today there were songs and prayers to those two victims. Friends and family say that it's just inconceivable that two people that had such a big impact on Denver's culture are now gone. My heart is broken, our hearts are broken. A farewell song for Alicia Cardenas and Alyssa Gunn Maldonado. I really think the community's got a big hole in it right now without her. Candles, incense, and prayers. We're here with our popescomis, which is our fireplaces, and our altars and our flowers, joining the outpouring of grief. The two women were killed here at Soul Tribe Tattoo and Piercing last night. It was the beginning of a deadly rampage that spanned two cities and took the lives of five people. I'm gonna miss her. There's like a hole for me <laughs> to do this without her. Alicia Cardenas was an icon in Denver's tattoo community, an artist for more than 25 years. She built her shop to be an inclusive space for Denver's diverse and growing population. Mourners remember her as a pioneer for indigenous women. She believed in women, she believed in education, each individual human as a human, just purely in who they were. To others, she was a spiritual leader, leaving behind a 12-year-old child in a community she took pride in molding. It can't be said in words what she's contributed to this community. She meant it, and she did a really, really good job, and without her, things wouldn't look the way that they do today. Family of Alyssa Gunn Maldonado also gathering here to say goodbye. Her husband, James Maldonado, was also shot last night. He's still in the hospital recovering. Here, mourners are doing their best to say farewell. That she travel well to spirit country and in peace and in power. That's our prayer. And we're singing her there. We're singing her home. As they learn to cope and adjust to this new normal without the people who meant so much to so many. They certainly did mean so much to so many people. One tattoo artist that I spoke with earlier today said that many tattoo shop owners got their start at one of Alicia Cardena's stores. They say that her passion and her influence will not go unnoticed. Reporting live on Broadway, Sloan Dickey, Denver 7.